Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video, and today we're going to be reacting to Tom Hanks on the German Autobahn. Now, naming celebrities is definitely not my calling, as I hardly know any celebrities, American or international celebrities, but Tom Hanks is someone I do know, so I hope you guys know him too, because otherwise you're really living under a rock, because I'm, I'm living under a rock. Um, anyways, let's get right into this. The German Autobahn. Hopefully he's going to talk about some of his experiences on it. I wish I had gone on the Autobahn while I was in Germany, but listen, I will be back in Germany. I know that's a, that's a fact right there. So next time I'm in Germany, I'll go on the Autobahn. But let's hear what he has to say about it. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's get it. Uh, Tom. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Tell me about uh, you were in Germany, and I was wondering if you were over there working on a film. I was working on a film called Cloud Atlas with Halle Berry and a bunch of oh, other people. Cloud, Cloud, Cloud Atlas. What basically. a lovely t title. What's, what's the film about? It's very difficult to explain. Uh, it's about the Wachowskis and Tom Tickford directed this. It'll be out in a year and a half, Dave. I'll be back to what chat it up. What would the source material? It's, oddly enough, oddly enough, it's a book called Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas, yeah. 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 But uh, so, uh, about a It's about pilot? Uh, a bunch of people together and all, all the time and, and how we are all but, uh, uh, what is an ocean but a multitude of drops. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's going to go right through it. Pretty really great. <laughs> When in doubt, tight. Have you ever been to Germany, Dave? Been to Germany a couple of times. Germany is yeah. a great place. I yep. fell in love with Germany. What you know, did you do there? Where what, were you, and what did you do? I was when in, you weren't I was in Berlin. I was in Dresden. I had the thing, and, and I discovered. I did not drive because I don't. I didn't know how to get to the studio, so I had Racer X. My driver drove me every day. Racer X. Uh, yes, it was the best way to describe who he was. He was a. He was a. A German amazing, driver. Uh, yes, and he <laughs> drove me. Uh, and the thing, he he explained to me the deal about in driving. Without any speed limit in Germany. Oh, on the sure on the autobahn. On the autobahn, yep. we were yep. driving. He was dri we were driving to and from Dresden from the hotel, and I said, "Why are you driving so slowly?" And in this area, you must drive 80 kilometers an hour. Oh, because there was a little sign 80 with a circle on it. Sure. But when you go past the sign that says 120 with a line through it, the gloves are off, baby. You can drive. <laughs> You can drive really? at government is off your back in Germany, and you can drive. The man says drive as fast as you want. Is that right? And I said, okay, we got to drive back to Berlin. I want you to unwind this VW. By the way, I don't know what kind of cars they are. They're all made. They're all Volkswagens. In, uh, in, uh, <laughs> in, Kidding. Do I show them? They might say, but not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay. I, 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 mm. I know some people aren't going to like that. They got a lot more than Volkswagen. Come on. Come on, Tom. Don't say that. I sweat these bits, Dave. Don't, You're fine. Don't, don't pull these out, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know what? Try, those, five other, those five other guys should just do the show. Yours, <laughs> I lose sleep over, oh, Dave. Well, I appreciate that. I've been working on these bits My since God, Halloween. We... <laughs> crying out loud. Yeah. So I said, so driving back, I said, from Dresden to Berlin, drive as fast as you possibly can. And man, he did. The, the highways in Germany are as straight and flat as airport runways. And I don't know how fast we went, but I think in the conversion, how do you convert it, Dave? Uh, uh, Paul? You just convert it as best you can. You multiply it by <laughs> 100, <laughs> 100, like a, 100, 100 kilometers is 60 miles okay, an hour. Okay, I, I, we were going like 120, 130, which I think is 700 miles per hour. And we went, <laughs> we, we made it from Dresden to Berlin in about 17 minutes. It was Ooh. the most exciting. But here's the deal the cheeks were pushing yeah. back like that. <laughs> slow down, Racer X, slow down! <laughs> He actually did stop at one point because he had to pee. Mm. <laughs> well, we still made it and like this was all in a, in a Volkswagen. Well, they're all Volkswagen. Do I go to the... Not thing? yet, no? Dave. Okay. Dave! I don't know. Will you read these cars I'm before sorry. I come I'm on the show? sorry. I've been busy. Later on, I, I drove that car. But I, you don't I, want to see it now. No, I'll show it now. I, now? Well, if we got time before you go to one of your sad sack commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be a commercial for one of your films. Oh, let's watch it. <laughs> we'll be right back with Tom Hanks, everybody. <laughs> we just did some. Okay, so now you're in, you're in Germany. Yeah, and, and I wanted to uh, drive. I wanted, X, yeah. I wanted to see how fast I could possibly drive. So I called up the folks at uh, VW, which is the only car company in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, there are no other cars except VWs. Even if they say Ford and Range Rover, they're actually the yeah. VWs inside. So I said, can I test drive a car? I said, oh, yes, we have a car. We'd love you. <laughs> um, and they gave me this, uh, I love camper vans, and they gave me this VW camper van. It's called the California. I said, this is great. And I said, oh, I'm glad you like it. It's not for sale in America. Oh. Um, 
I know you love. You did this with your own. Old, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I did. I have another old one, and yeah. my old va my old uh, uh, van has a. You know, literally, it's a it's a bus. Yeah, it's bus like wheel. this. Mm -hmm. These new ones, Dave. That t that steering wheel is like this. You can right. shave like that, and it drives like a fruit bat out of hell. This thing. But they can't. There's no speed, is there, with these things? The torque, Dave. The torque, as it was explained to me, means that you can get that bad boy up to wow. easily, easily 130, 140 kilometers an hour, which I did. Oh my God. We it was fantastic. Were you scared? I was. I was not. The only. The only time I got scared, Racer X was scared the entire time, mm -hmm. because he also had to translate the German GPS, which always sounded like Aspen und Dinoflos, which meant you know beer, beer left in two kilometers, you know, like, and then you're on for a while, Aspen und Dinoflos, which is which is like turn turn right at Poland. It was like literally like that, and the, the two folks who worked for me, they were petrified in the back. But the only I loved it, and the only time I got scared was no matter how fast you. Driving in Germany, someone is driving faster than you. Sure. That's right. And you cannot linger in that left lane. If you do, they will. I know. I know. Some of y'all love that line right there because it is a fact. I wish people in America would drive the same. Get out the left lane right when you pass, but everyone wants to sit out there. Mm. Faster than you. Sure. That's right. And you cannot linger in that left lane. If you do. They will. The, they'll. 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 A lot of light flashing. They'll pull your passport. Yeah, that, so you gotta. You gotta get back over. <laughs> yeah. And when another car passes you, when you are driving as fast as physics allowed, the, it does not pass you like. Meow, it doesn't. It passes you like this. No. Yes, that's right. And a blur that's goes right. past you. And you're, you could be sucked into their. I mean, that car, you know, yeah. go like that. Yeah, and sometimes it, sometimes it's a red blur, sometimes mm -hmm. it's a white blur. Yeah! It goes past <laughs> like that. It's a color white blur. Yeah. But uh, I had a fabulous day. We drove from Berlin to Eisenhuttenstadt, of course. Eisenhuttenstadt. Eisenhuttenstadt. Uh, which was, was this was my, it was my destination. I don't know what that is. Eisenhuttenstadt is a it is a model city built by the communists in 1953 to show people the great and wonderful life that socialism would give them right up until the entire system went to crap. Yeah. Uh, it was it's a it's actually an amazing architectural place where they, it's it's a place where they're trying to re, uh, rebuild it so that young and old people. Fascinating mm -hmm. place. I loved going there. A lot I, of cement. I, a lot of cement. Yep. A lot of uh, 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 building uh, uh, complex number one, and then we saw complex number two. Is then it, we uh, walked over to complex number three. And then guess where we went after that, Dave? Uh, going out on a limb here. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Yeah. yeah, we saw complex number vier. Uh, now do I show the picture? Well, now you can show this picture. Okay. Now, in the old days, back in the day, when it was still called Stalinstadt, no lie, uh, Eisenhuttenstadt looked like this. None of the buildings had paint. They all looked like this. And this is to prove that cement. that's me taking a picture, and this is what they looked like back then. And isn't that, isn't that amazing, Dave? You know, I didn't know, I, didn't, I thought that was Racer X. No, 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 Racer X. Racer X was in the car. I got a great walking tour from a guy who said, who didn't speak a lot of English, but he says, How long do you have for your tour? <laughs> and I said, Well, here's the bad news. I have a bit of a cold and I got to work tomorrow. Yeah. So I got about an hour and a half. And he yeah. looked at me like this. <laughs> well, this is not enough time to see Eisenhutten. <laughs> no, he was very is nice. There ever he was very nice. To so see this picture, stuff? this picture is this is this is like from 1962, and that was essentially the socialist store mm -hmm. where you would go and buy your orange at Christmas time right. and your pair of socks from Vietnam uh, wow. in the spring. It's uh, that would sad, be all they had. I mean, but look, this is actually what it must have looked like: no cars, no people, no nothing, right. just a dearth of everything. But uh, what does Eisen it mean? What does it mean? Eisenhuttenstadt means iron. Hut City or Iron Work City because they, they, they built it for all the people mm -hmm. who worked in the iron mill that's down there. And this was to be the pride of the communist bloc country. You would live there, you would work there, mm -hmm. you would dance at Komsomol dances, you would shop and get your oranges and socks once a year, and right. you would love living. It's like that at Disney World, remember when they had that community of Epcot? Uh, Epcot, Epcot and, and then they had that uh, Jubilee where you could actually you buy, could a, buy house. a house yeah. there. You, and people still live there, and it's a, actually a gorgeous place. Now, this was, this was crazy. This was a sign that was in Eisenhuttenstadt. I believe, I believe that's complex number three. I and we we spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell this sign means. Can you? Can you I do not know because I'll tell you something. There is not a single house in Eisenhuttenstadt that looks like right, that. Right. Right. And the there, are no, there are no cars that look like that. This uh, this person has been thrown out of a moving I car. I think so. Yeah. That might be. I don't know. That's racer X. We we tried to we. <laughs> 
I think we said what this sign actually means in an odd communist kind of way is no dogs allowed. Because <laughs> there's not a dog in that picture. That's the only thing not Here's what you are yeah. allowed to have. You but can have a mad <laughs> child, you can have the child in a car, yeah. and you can have a house, but you can have no other thing. No, nothing else. So, and all of this just ahead. 3.2 3 meters. Meters? I don't meters? know what that means. Good I think Lord. that means this sign has been hung 3.2 meters above the ground. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know. I don't. Now, I'm making fun. I, I, I had a great time You're there. making fun of the Germans. And I got and to I'm at the okay. Burgermeister, and I'm going back to Eisenhuttenstadt as soon <laughs> as I'm, I'm anywhere going, near the Polish I'll border. be with you. We'll be right back with Tom Hanks, uh, everybody. I like that a lot. You could tell. It's funny how no matter where you go or where you're from, you're always going to take make, make jokes about the place you visited. But it sounds like Tom genuinely enjoyed uh, Germany. But man, that just makes me want to go. Like every experience I hear about the Autobahn, I, I want to go on it more and more. But I'm kind of nervous. Like who is going to be my driver? Because <laughs> that's... <laughs> I need to find a Racer X to take me on the Autobahn. Oh my God. Because your life is out of your hands at that point. But honestly, driving on the Autobahn, even if at the, the fast speeds, with the procedures they have in place and the fact that it seems like almost everyone follows them, like staying out of the left lane... It probably is safer than the American highway I just drove on. Like, because <laughs> those American highways are a free-for-all. They are, a, like, literally, it's like a video game. People just swerving in and out of lanes, flying by you in the right lane, in the middle lane. And the, there's no sense of, there's no sense of lanes. Like, it's all just a one road and you do whatever you want to get to where you need to be. <laughs> That's the best way to describe American roads, but... I really enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully nobody got too mad about Tom Hanks ripping into Germany a bit. It's the American way. Everyone does it. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.